I've been living with my mum in a small apartment less than 250 square feet my entire life. Last week, I got kicked out from my home. And here's the big problem. Hong Kong has a housing crisis. Too few homes for too many people. Now the question is, where should I go? It's very common for youngsters to move out. It might be because we want to live independently or we are going to have a family of ourselves. Or just like me, I had a fight with my parents and I'm now forced to move out. I'm 25 years old, university graduate, three years into my first job, and I'm now making the median monthly salary of Hong Kong people, which is 19,600 Hong Kong dollars. With that as a benchmark, we're going to find out where can an average resident go to find an affordable house in Hong Kong. According to various industry estimates, Hong Kong is the most expensive city in the world to buy a house. As per official records, you will have to pay on an average of 178,000 Hong Kong dollars per square meter. On Hong Kong's median monthly salary of 19,600, it would take you nearly 18 years to buy a 250 square foot house. That is, if you spend all your salary on it. Safe to say, buying a house is clearly not an option for someone like me. So, let's start with the cheapest option, the public rental housing scheme. Public rental housing is a part of programs through which the government of Hong Kong SAR rents out affordable housing. It's for lower income residents and you're eligible only if you earn below a certain limit. Nearly 2 million people live in these houses, that's about a quarter of Hong Kong's nearly 7.5 million population. The rents here are significantly lower. Take for example, the Southern District, a public housing outlay child estate, you could rent a house at only 93.8 Hong Kong dollars per square meter, while the average rent for private housing in nearby South Horizon is about 430 Hong Kong dollars per square meter. So I'm now gonna visit a friend who's now living in the public renter house just right behind us, uh, up Lei Zhao Chun, and we're gonna see what he thinks. Let's go. Yeah, 不夠一百尺的 but despite the space crunch, Ivan says he won't consider moving out alone. Come, 
我,我,我人工上面我都唔知點樣可以揾得到呢個價，即係可能我我買一層樓，咁我都有排供喎。咁同埋我供唔供得到都係一件事喎。咁可能因為供樓我冇咗個生活，咁我會覺得即係要,要取捨的話，咁我寧願其實暫時嚟講，我會租屋，即係租公屋咯。啊、After speaking with Ivan, I found Yastis still find the significantly lower renters attractive, in spite of the small size of the flats. I decided to apply. 想問申請公屋嗰啲？申請公屋，你想攞科同埋？係啊係啊係啊係啊係啊 ！The staff handed me the application form, and I was curious how long the wait is for one person applicant like me. 我估五年到咯。五年。我估計咯。五年其實都唔係太耐。我而家保守唔會過估三噶啦，話俾你聽。Okay. 因為而家有一般家庭咧，都已經唔係以前嗰只話啊，三年上樓不是咯。我哋其實家庭我都已經排到誒七八年啦。嚇、啊？係啊，你唔知㗎，七誒六七誒、呃，起碼六至七年，六至八年啦。O K。係啊，出邊官方電視賣到話啊五年啦，就已經係係講得好聽啲俾你哋聽㗎啦，已經係正正常常，<笑><笑>正正常常六至八啦。<笑>好好好，唔該你啊，唔該你 ，thank you，thank you， 唔該曬。So I have just got the application form, and I found that the maximum monthly income limit for a one-person family is only twelve thousand nine hundred forty Hong Kong dollars, which is way less than what I'm earning. Which also means I'm not eligible to apply for it. I'm going to visit Mr. Wong, member of the Concerning Youth Housing Rights Alliance, and see what he thinks. Because 等佢哋攞咗公屋之後先至再考慮，咁其實呢個就白白浪費咗佢哋自己最黃金嗰段時間。我覺得呢個情況咧就非常之唔理想。咁我希望政府可以考慮下，起多啲唔同嘅青年旅社啊，呢啲令到佢哋可以減少輪候公屋，即係話申請公屋呢個考慮啦，嚟從而翻多啲上上流嘅機會，去爭取翻自己譬如黃金時間呢段時間，去一啲就業啊或者發展嘅機會。As I'm not eligible to apply for public rental housing, and I need to seek opportunities on the private housing market, as a benchmark, I'm going to set 19,600 Hong Kong dollars, the median monthly salary, as the standard, and take 45% to 70% of that to rent the house and see what I can get. I've picked the four locations for house inspections, two in peripheral areas of the new territories, Shanshui and Tunmun. Which both require more than an hour to reach the city centre, and two downtown in Hong Kong Island, Kennedy Town and Causeway Bay. For our first stop, we go to Causeway Bay. Despite the high prices, I realized renting a house in Hong Kong is not easy. Earners may turn you down when you tell them your salary. Yeah. 
。哦，仲有其他，都係呢一棟。唔係啊，經常試喺嗰邊。套房咯，大概咁樣，七八千蚊一半。哦 ，OK， 七八千蚊。係啊。唔係唔係，其實咧，我都年青過，會唔會合？你會唔會吃力？呢個都係問題。誒、呃，少少啦，少少啦。That's true. 少少啦少少啦 That's true. If I spend that much on rent, the other expenses are really going to put me on the edge. Let's say I spent about four thousand Hong Kong dollars for food and one thousand each for services, transport, and entertainment. That would leave me a saving of two thousand six hundred Hong Kong dollars a month, or about thirty-one thousand and two hundred a year. Thirty-one thousand and two hundred Hong Kong dollars a year in saving. Now remember, as per official records, a residential property in Hong Kong sells for one hundred and seventy-eight thousand Hong Kong dollars per square meter. With that annual saving, it would take me nearly 118 years to buy a 24 square meter house in Hong Kong. Basically, I would be dead by then. But why is Hong Kong housing market so expensive? I'm going to visit Professor Chong from Chinese University of Hong Kong to find out the answer. Hong Kong is an open like economy, so our housing price are、uh, instead of affected by the local supply and, and demand, is more affected by the international. Environment, for example, QE and also the China growth and and so on. Because、uh, the young people in Hong Kong,、uh, I guess most of them want to have their own place.、Um, it's a dream of their life to buy a house in Hong Kong. But given the current prices,、uh, most of them will not be able to afford such a high housing price. Even if you are a lawyer or if you are a、uh, doctor, the government、um, job is to provide. Um, a、um, like affordable living environment for 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 people of Hong Kong. Whether to let them to be able to buy their house is not the government job. Of course, government want to do that, but the responsibility of government is to make people live, whether rent or buy, um, um, in Hong Kong affordable. Speaking of affordability, there is actually an affordable way to buy property in Hong Kong: the Home Ownership Scheme. The government of Hong Kong SAR sells apartments to eligible public rental house tenants and to low-income residents by ballot at prices 30 to 40 percent below the market level, but with resale restrictions. Take Yu Tong Court as an example. This home ownership housing is selling for 8,100 Hong Kong dollars per square feet on an average. Private housing in the same district sells for about thirteen thousand eight hundred Hong Kong dollars per square feet on an average. I'm visiting a friend who just bought a house in Yu Tong Court with his family and is ready to move in next month in December. This is what street? This is called Yu Tong Court. 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 好呢度，哇！即係仲夠過石排灣村，我開始住嗰個地方。你幾多年啊？嗰度樓嚟？可能十零年咯。我廿四啊嘛，廿四其實好舊嘅。即係起碼我嗰度係光猛啲。哦，請入。OK， 呢度就係屋企啦。如果你話要一個咁嘅 freshman 出去買樓，天方夜談，冇經冇屋企人 support。但係有呢個 scheme 咧就唔同啦，即係叫做咩人揀咩樓咯，係啦。咁如果揸以居住嘅角度嚟講咧，我覺得呢度係非常好嘅，管理費都平啲啦，係咪先？咁、嗯、所以一個住所嚟講，我覺得 O K 嘅，即係係咁上下啦。你話係咪差咁？睇你點睇咯。所以我哋盡量裝修得靚啲，有個好啲嘅感覺。你唔知道將來有咩風險，但係以過往經驗嚟講，你有樓面對嘅風險係最細。當然我會諗到好。好理想化，好理想嘅，係啊！我會諗到將來自己，我會如果我結婚階段，我會有能力買到私樓，或者搬出去買居屋都未定，即係我會買到一層屬於自己嘅樓。咁我嘅家庭就未必會喺度組織啦。咁其實時間好緊迫喎，即係如果你頭先講三十五年嘅咋，五年五年到咯，你當但係你就有呢個信心，你可以喺五年內再買到一棟私樓。我唔我唔會係咪信心係咪咁肯定？唔知道，但係我會保留呢個可能性。點解啲人話哦？有啲人就話哦，香港仲有好多機遇，有啲人話香港已經死。咁呢啲係好多層面睇法啦。就喺我呢個層面，我講呢一樣嘢嘅時候，我覺得我仲有機會咯
，即係好好深嘅呢、這個，即係好多方面㗎，係咪先？死唔死或者有冇機會？咁我覺得而家嚟講，我覺得誒、欸、好似仲有機會，有得傾喎。係，但係條路係咪好闊咯？可能我將來係買一個八零尺嘅，二百零尺嘅居屋，係啦，我可能都覺得 O K 嘅，因為照買到樓嘛，咁啊再講咯。I reached out to the Housing Authority and Development Bureau of Hong Kong for a video interview about the housing issue, but they instead emailed a reply. It is the Hong Kong Housing Authority's objective to provide public rental housing to low-income families who cannot afford to rent private accommodation. Due to limited public rental house resources, its housing authority's policy to accord higher priority to general applicants over non-elderly one-person applicants in the allocation of public rental house units. Government has identified about 350 hectares of land required for providing 330,000 public housing units, and can meet the demand for about 301,000 public housing units in the next 10-year period. The government will strive to secure approximately 170 hectares of land in the coming 10 years, and make available to the market sites for the production of about 100,000 units. After exploring all my options, I found that renting a private house is my only choice. But paying half my salary for a tiny room would leave me with no chance to save money for a future home. I'm still far from living independently. Luckily, my grandparents took me in for now, and here I am. Hong Kong's housing issue is such a complicated problem, but I'm still young, and I still have hope. We will see. Time will tell.